the background for me was that this was an exciting project to get involved in. I initially heard about it through Martin Stevens from the boat owners, and uh, he told me this was going on. But uh, I just felt that uh, to contribute to this new project that was going to be taking place on the East Quay was quite important. And I'm sorry that this is going to, you know, there's going to be a certain degree of negativity here. Um, and you've seen my bottle, obviously. For all the sort of good that uh, I think is here in Watch It, you know, and there's there's lots of that, you know, lots of community and lots of <clears throat> music and all stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, our big problem is, you know, the elephant in the room uh, was um, the mud, you know, and the state of the marina, the jewel in the middle of Watch It. Um, and so that's really what took me down that route. Um, but really, the, the point of the bottle was that the, the, uh, there'd been discussions here in Watch It about, you know, th this sort of gradual decay of the marina and, how, and really how it's affecting, you know, the people's lives. I mean, the shopkeepers and, the, you know, the eateries and so on and so forth. So it's really heavily, heavily negative stuff. And I'm sorry, but my bottle's heavily negative. Um, but I came up with that, you know, Watch It Marina is the, you know, the the, the crown of the, the thing. Well, of course, what's curious about that now, you know, now that uh, the Marine Group have stepped in, that rather puts my bottle, I hope I did date the label, um, because it certainly you know, puts it in a different era now. But at that time, Neville, there was really no, you know, you could see what the council were doing, you know, you're getting feedback from all the different, uh, you know, groups, voluntary groups and stuff. Um, and nothing was actually indicating that anything was really going to happen. And then, of course, COVID set in and, you know, that delayed the actions that were taking place. Um, so it just got gloomier and gloomier, quite frankly, and I'm very, very prone to gloom. Um, so, um, you know, that's sort of the, the way it went. And, and that seemed to be the thing that I had to, if you like, that's what I had to write about. You know, we used to pile down from London and, um, uh, you know, have fun and fish and prawn. Um, you know, prawning we found to be, you know, really fabulous fun. The, the marina had been just built really you know the marina was very new so I don't remember it as an active harbour but um, but you know it was much more buzzy much more buzzy in those days and uh, you know there was stuff happening I remember uh, one of the watch one of the early uh, watch it music festivals taking place up on the east quay you know so there was lots of stuff around the marina and, um, you know, for, um, from my perspective, the, the marina is in the heart of the village. And in that respect, we're incredibly lucky. Of course, if you're visiting, you know, if you're a visiting boat, um, actually, you want to step off your boat, um, you know, as you might do down in the south of France, step off your boat, step, step straight into a restaurant or a bar and, you know, begin enjoying your stay wherever you've turned up. Um, and of course, in Watch It, you can do that. One of the things that uh, really amazed me about the place is the amount of music. Um, you know, uh, before the before this pandemic, it, I mean, you could just Saturday night, you could just go out and go. Well, you, you know, what is, what music should we listen to tonight? You know, should we should we go and listen to Dave Milton, who will be singing? You know, in one restaurant, or should we go down to Pebbles, or is it the Esplanade, or or what's it going to be? And to to have the music festival, you know, I understand festivals, and you know, to get that together and make it work as well as it does, you know, is a real feat. And to have that going on locally, to have all of that going on, is astonishing. You know, in addition to that, you've got a lot of art going on here. And of course, you would have a much more vibrant boat community. Uh, and I'm sure we will in the future.